Well, another nurse helping out is the Conservative MP for Lewis, Maria Caulfield, who's doing shifts as a cancer nurse, treating some patients with COVID-19 at the Royal Marsden Hospital. We spoke earlier and I asked what it was like at the moment on her ward. There is a, a kind of, it's a nervous feeling on the ward, particularly if you're on the COVID ward, because, you know, while we've not, we never had a shortage of PPE, thankfully, um, you know, you still know that PPE isn't 100% protective. There's always that risk when you're looking after COVID patients. And so you're, it's a mixture of being on edge, but also a, a mixture of kind of a wartime spirit that you're, you're all in that, this together. I gather you've had no shortages of PPE on the front line, but presumably you would be the first to acknowledge that many NHS workers just haven't had the personal protective equipment they've needed. Well, you know, my experience and I obviously uh, my dual role as, a, as an MP uh, for the local area, I've been very closely in touch with um, hospitals in Brighton and Eastbourne and Hastings, uh, you know, and while there have been times where the, the logistics of getting PPE uh, to those places has been difficult, particularly at the beginning, uh, because the amount of PPE that was got through uh, was is, is huge. Um, actually, on the front line, on most days, there has not been a problem, certainly in hospitals I've been speaking to. Obviously, you're nursing in a hospital on the front line. In your constituency right now, care home deaths are rising particularly sharply. Would you be happy to go and work in a care home right now in the Lewis district? You know, absolutely. Um, you know, and I've been talking to my care homes uh, and the difficulty with the care sector as a whole is it isn't a national care sector. And so logistically, that has been extremely difficult to try and, you know, coordinate that and make sure that, you know, we know all who all the providers are and to then make sure that they uh, are getting the, the equipment that they need. I see, I've always seen, care and health should be one united uh, front. There shouldn't be a national health service and, and care separately. And I know the government was always going to look later this year at, at bringing those two more closely together. And I think that's the big lessons learned, that you can't, cannot have two separate systems in place. Um, and they, they need to be brought more uh, together. There's a joint government department now that does health and social care, but at the coalface, they need to be working much more closely together. Okay, Maria Caulfield, thank you very much for joining us.